Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the proportion. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is that we will try to define first what is a proportion. A proportion is the equality between two ratios. So in other words, proportion is the comparison between two ratios. If ratios A is to B, and C is to D are equal, the proportion can be written in two different ways. It in two different ways. It in first way, we have this one, this form, and the fractional form, wherein B is not equal to zero and D is not equal to zero. So what we have here is an example. We have this proportion and this one is read as 2 is to 15 is equal to 6 is to 45. The first part that we have is that we have 15 and 6. These are called the means of the proportion. Well, this one, 2 and 45, are the extremes of proportion. Basically, the means are the inner numbers of the proportion. The extremes are the outer numbers of the proportion. In this part of the video, we will try to check, can the given pair of ratios form a proportion? If they are, we will try to write the word yes. If they are not, we will try to write the word no. So how are we going to check if they are forming proportion? First method, I will show you the first method, is to simplify the two ratios. So here we have 4 over 5. And the other is 24 over 30. 4 over 5 is already in lowest term. So, hindi na natin siya kukunin yung lowest term niya. Gawin na lang natin is 24 over 30. Here, the GCF is 6. So, we will divide this by 6 and also by 6. So, what is 24 divided by 6? The answer is 4 over 30 divided by 6, the answer is 5. As you can see, 4 over 5 and the lowest term of 24 over 30, which is 4 over 5, are equal, meaning these ratios are forming a proportion. So what is the method number 2? Method number 2 is that we can create an equation in this form. 4 is to 5 is equal to 24 is to 30. We can multiply the means, which is 5 times 24. We can also multiply the extremes, which is 4 times 30. If the products are equal, meaning it's a yes. So 5 times 24, that is equal to 120. 4 times 30, which is 120. If we will compare 120 by 120, definitely they are equal, meaning yes they're forming a proportion. In the next part, we will try to use a single method for these examples. Let's add number two. In number two, let's simplify four over 10 and 28 over 70. In four over 10, their GCF is equal to two. So divide this by two, divide this by two. Four divided by two is two. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Next, for 28 over 70, their GCF is 14. Divided by 14, divided by 14. 24 divided by 14 is 2. 70 divided by 14 is 5. As you can see, they're equal, meaning it's a yes. These two ratios are forming a proportion. Now let's move on with item number 3. For number 3, we have 6 over 14 and 9 over 21. 6 over 14 and 9 over 21. The GCF of this fraction is 2 is by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3 over 14 divided by 2 which is equal to 7. This is the lowest term of 6 over 14. 
Next, for 9 over 21, their GCF is 3. So let's divide this by 3. 9 divided by 3, we have 3 over 21 divided by 3. This is 7. As you can see, the two ratios or the two uh, simplified form are equal, meaning these two ratios are forming a proportion. Lastly, number 4. 7 over 35. So, you have 7 over 35. And the other is 35 over 70. In this case, this 7 over 35, their GCF is 7. Divide by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1 over this is 35 divided by 7 is 5. As you can see, the lowest term is 1 over 5. Now, what about 35 over 7D? What is our divisor? Our divisor, I think their GCF is 35. So we will divide this by 35. And this one is also divided by 35. 35 divided by 35 is 1. But this time, 70 divided by 35 is only 2. As you can see, they are not equal, meaning it's a no. The two ratios are not forming a proportion. So I hope, guys, within this video, you learn something from this video on how to identify whether the given ratios are forming a proportion. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest upload. Again guys, it's me Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!